Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy, Roth, Candy, uh, we are hoping joins us at some point. We'll see. The uh, time together is dwindling here uh, this morning. Uh, she's having uh, big computer issues at home. Uh, we will see how things go. But uh, I watched a few things over the weekend. I I will eventually get to Hulu. There's a couple things on Hulu I want to check out. But I did preview uh, and watch some shows uh, for you over the weekend that uh, maybe you could take my advice, or based on my advice, you can leave them alone. Um, there is a, uh, a great kids film called Yes Day on Netflix. It's trending number one, I believe. It stars Jennifer Garner, and it's cute. This is Look, this is not for adults necessarily. Like You're not going to sit there and be like, oh, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. But it is a cute movie. Jennifer Garner's the mom, and she's got the three kids, and she's always saying no, 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 right? Um, and then on a particular day, she has to say yes to everything. And, you know, the craziness ensues. They go out all five of them together and on a day where the parents have to say yes to everything. It's a cute movie. It's PG. Uh, the kids will like it. And I did watch it on Friday. I thought it was uh, well done. Good for the kids. If you're looking for something different for them to watch, it's called Yes Day. It is on Netflix. Um, then that new series that came out on Netflix called The One. Uh, which I am halfway through episode one of the one, and I haven't gone back. I, I will go back, but it was kind of it was a little slow at the beginning. It's about a woman. It's a it's a drama. It's a it's like a heavy you know psychological thriller kind of thing, and it's based on a book. I guess my sister Amy said she read the book and uh, she said it was just all right. Uh, it's a woman who uses DNA to start a dating site and says that she can match everyone 100% to uh, the person they're supposed to be with based on DNA, and it's a psychological thriller, and it's not, you know, it's it's not a comedy. It's not a romantic comedy. Um, it was a little slow at first. I may, I may go back to that. Uh, so I don't think you have to be rushing to see that. Um, but anyway, it's out there. I watched a pretty cool feel-good movie over the weekend called East Side Sushi. It was actually the last day on Netflix. It's something I wanted to watch for a while. And then it said, the cool thing about Netflix, it'll say on a thing, like on a program, a movie, a show, whatever, um, when the last day it's going to be available on Netflix and then it's, you know, disappearing. These things move around to different platforms all the time. Uh, so I watched a pretty cool feel-good uh, film called East Side Sushi over the weekend. Then... Uh, this one, which was recommended by my sister, Amy, it's called Tread. This is so interesting. It's a documentary. It's called Tread, like don't tread on me, okay? Um, it is about a guy in a small town, a small country farm town. And it's about his uh, argument over land. He has a land dispute with basically there's this one family that runs the town. You know, they run the town council, they run, they control everything. And he had a land dispute, some kind of issue with the family and the council, and he lost, as you'd imagine. Now, again, I don't know, you know, watching it, you don't know who was right, who was wrong. Everyone has conflicting ideas about how things really went down. But uh, it it's an hour and a half documentary, and it shows the story of what he did after... He lost uh, his fight in the town court or whatever. And it is one of the most remarkable stories that I never knew. And, I, you know, I don't think I'm giving too much away here. Um, but I, I, I'll i give this little part away. That um, you're watching this. It's called Tread, by the way, if you want to check it out. Documentary. Um, I'm watching... This documentary, wondering how I never saw it in the news, and I'm I'm thinking to myself, what, what, where was I when this happened? And then at the end, they show that a day after this incident happened, uh, President Reagan died, and that took the whole news coverage. So that is why this was not in the news. That is why you may never have seen this. Uh, literally, the day after it happened. Reagan died, and it never got any press. But it, it, this guy went berserk. He went absolutely berserk. I will say, 
no, the, the the reason I'm so uh, uh, easygoing about it, nobody died. All right, this this is how good the documentary is. He went berserk. Nobody died, but boy, did he destroy his town. You have to watch Tread. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty wild. And the fact that you never heard about, you'll be scratching your head how you have never uh, heard about what happened. Uh, so that is brand. Uh, I don't know if it's brand new, but something brand new anyway that I that I watched on. Uh, Netflix. And then after that, I need it. By the way, I know it sounds like I'm sitting in front of the TV all weekend. I swear. Why? I, I said earlier, we went ice skating this weekend and uh, I went out to dinner yesterday. We, we were out all day yesterday. So, you know, this is I was not in front of the TV all weekend. Um, and then just because tread was so deep, um, I needed uh, something really stupid. And one of the recommended movies for me was this dumb comedy called How to Be a Latin Lover. And <laughs> It was pretty funny. It was actually pretty, it's stupid, it's silly, uh, but it was a pretty, pretty funny movie. Anyway, there's some things for you, but I will go back if you're just joining the conversation. Uh, a very cute PG movie for the kids on Netflix called Yes Day with Jennifer Garner, where the parents have to say yes to everything, and then they go out for a crazy day of fun. It's cute for, for young kids. My Country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.